Hello everybody and welcome back to Farm Simulator 15. Fit time is the charm. That's what I'm going with. Um, I have tried to record this video four times. Two times yesterday, two times earlier today, and for various reasons it has not worked. And I even post, I gave up. It's currently quarter to five o'clock in the morning my time and the last record that I tried to do was at just before four o'clock and I gave up at that point I posted it on my Facebook page I sent out a Twitter that if it happens today at all it, it's gonna be later and then I said to myself you know what let's just do it and uh, get it done get it recorded get it posted and then we can sleep <laughs> so what has happened okay let me explain this field over here is uh, the canola the two canola fields this is 20 and, and 15 okay and then over there, down there, is the uh, barley fields. We've harvested them, uh, harvested them already. We've harvested this field already. Um, and so we're back, we're back at it again. So we're going to do a canola uh, harvest. Go ahead, tips the drifter. Hit it, buddy. Um... And it's later in the day because I had to speed up the, the time to get this crop to grow. This crop was behind the other crop because I forgot to plant this. I thought I had this all planted and turned out I didn't. So I'm just having all kinds of fun, all kinds of different ways. Okay, let's get over here. So I just finished with this. We replanted it in barley. The idea being that we're going to go with uh, uh, barley and wheat on these fields and canola on those fields. So that's what we've been doing. We've sold most of our crop because we had, uh, when we were speeding up the time for the growth, I went in the hole um, at one point, like $500 in the hole. And the only thing I can do to explain that is uh, my loan to the bank payment must have come out. Um, and so we had to make a midnight, late night run to, uh, to the seed shop, village seed shop. Village, wow, say that fast village seed shop and sell some crop so we could get back in the positive so yeah then of course we just finished harvesting barley off of these fields replanted it in barley when I realized that the video wasn't right and we sold all the straw off of it that the cows did not use. We gave the cows some. I, only, I still only have the four cows. So they don't use a whole lot. But, uh, in fact, I think the one uh, forage wagon I had 100% of straw in it. Drove it into the cows after having sped up time like three or four times. And it, they only took 3%. <laughs> and they're maxed out for six days at, with, at that. So, yeah. So here we are. Doing the canola. I'll show you here in a minute exactly what we have in our silos. Let's do a weather report. Sunny today, sunny tomorrow, clouds rolling in, but we're back to sunny. And then we're going to have a little precipitation in the form of snow. It's winter, folks. 
winter 2016. Oh, I was going to go beyond that. Sorry, did the weather report, and then that's all I did. <laughs> okay, so you can see we put up, this is from the last barley harvest. We did sell another tipper, uh, and then put the rest of it up. But we're going to get more barley, because like I said, I replanted it in barley. And then next time we'll do some wheat, and we sold off the all of the canola that we had. Now I think in the last last episode that actually went up, uh, I was griping and complaining about this harvest uh, because I didn't fertilize. Well, th this field has been fertilized, uh, so we should get a better yield off of it. How much better? I don't know. These aren't really that big of fields. And we still need to plow them together. That's still in the works. Um, we cut down the trees on the far side down there. And pushed them off uh, the other side of the road. So we're going to have to deal with those at some point. But that's all involved in getting the chipper. And, and all that. Let me see how much that costs. I know we don't have enough money for it. That's not what I want. I'll go over here. I don't, um, I know we don't have enough mo money for it, but let's just take a quick look and see. Yeah, this right here. 50450 Uh So that's my handy dandy chipper. And it can go in that tipper. I think I need that tipper right there because the one I got does not handle wood chips, I don't think. Let's take a quick look at that. Let's see here. Oh, maybe that's wood chips. I think that might be wood chips right there. So we'll have to try it out eventually. Uh, not going to be doing a lot of tree harvesting on this map, but I do like to keep it clean and neat whenever possible. And it would be nice to have some chips up in the storage for when we get a great demand. So, yeah, see, he's getting fuller. Like when he did this field last time, he went, he got he was only at 60% when he finished this entire field, this first one. So he's not gonna get to 60, or he's not gonna get, he'll get to 60% before he finishes this field, I'm guessing. And that's all based on fertilizer. So that's good, that's good. All right, let me tell you a little bit about what's been going on it's kind of hard because i've done this video like i said four other times now and i talk about different things every time so it's hard for me to remember when did you talk about that and did that ever get recorded is that something that the people have already heard don't know video from yesterday i was speechless and i couldn't spell <laughs> I noticed that in the video. Uh, but I had already deleted all the material that I used to put the video together with. Um, so I couldn't redo the video. Speaking of which, I was talking to Dare and Doss a few days ago. And I mentioned to them that I was in look, uh, looking out for uh, you know pretty decent uh, video editing software um, I, I use movie maker that comes with Windows and I've used it for the three years that I've been doing the videos but it's really limited and you can't precisely edit things and you guys know that my audio quality hasn't always been the best and stuff so but there hooked me up with cyberlink pro director I think it's pro direct or something like that uh, 14 
the reason he hooked me up with it meaning he recommended it to me and he said if you get it before the fourth <laughs> which is today by the way um, then you get it for 75 percent off and then if you use this code there was a code and if you use the code at checkout you get an additional 15 percent off so I got a, a like three hundred dollars worth of software for seventy four dollars and uh, it's pretty cool so last night I stayed up all night uh, first uploading the 13 programs executable programs that are in this software and then uh, that took two hours from midnight to 2 2.30 uh, to upload it from 2.30 to 3.30 I was checking out the software realizing I didn't have a clue <laughs> this thing is you're not in Kansas anymore kind of thing you know what I'm saying um, I hope you guys get that Wizard of Oz reference there. Is that is that am I way too old for that? Is that going right over people's heads? But anyway, uh, so for an hour I checked the video. I mean, I checked the software out and realized I didn't know what I was doing. Then I spent from three thirty till about nine o'clock in the morning. From three thirty in the morning to to nine o'clock in the morning. I spent uh, watching videos, um, YouTube videos on how to use this software. And one of the people that they hired, bless her heart, I'll be honest with you, bless her heart, she must have won a lawsuit against them or something because she's doing the tutorials for, the, for this CyberLink uh, software and she speaks very little English I'm talking I mean she speaks English but her accent is like super hard and all they say is if you can't understand her make sure you you uh, click the uh, closed caption <laughs> and I actually sat there and watched the videos many times and then I found somebody else that spoke English or at least in English that I could understand, not that the other person wasn't speaking English, and uh, watched the videos, and I realized after watching like five, six hours of videos that, yeah, there's a lot to this program. It's gonna bring a lot more quality to the, to the videos, I'm hoping, a lot, give me a lot more precision in my editing, and being able to control the, the audio track being able to blend clips uh, together, um, it's gonna be pretty cool. Probably take me all of 2016 to figure out how to use it, but hey, you know, what do you got to do besides play games, record videos, edit videos, <laughs> Now let me ask, let me tell you something, guys. And I'm not doing this to toot my own horn or anything, but this is how committed I am to the situation. I spent seventy-four dollars on software. Now, again, that was a, that was a cool hookup that Dare got me, and uh, I appreciate it, man. But here's the thing: I've been doing YouTube for three years. I made. $120 on YouTube in my first year for the entire year my second year I made $121 okay so hey I made a dollar more the second year is an improvement right this last year 2015 now I did take a big break off in the middle there but I cleared $52 on YouTube last year again I'm only telling you that because a lot of people who don't do YouTube but watch YouTube videos think oh you guys are making out like bandits now there's a select few that are making out like bandits on YouTube and I'm not one of them and that's okay my point being is I'm never going to recoup, or it's going to take forever to recoup, I should say, 
$74 that I spent on the software, but it was worth it. If it makes the videos better, and if it allows me to do some of the things that I'm looking forward to doing, oh yeah. Because you can put multiple uh, video tracks on top of each other, and, and the transitions and the pip, the, the picture in, in picture thing, yeah. I've got some ideas. Now, how to execute them properly with the software. Yeah, that's where it's going to get <laughs> interesting. But I'll give you an example. I'm still waiting for him to... Did he unload? I guess he unloaded fully. Um, I'm definitely going to be able to use it to edit together the uh, videos of Graktor and I on our fishing planet uh, fishing challenges um, because we're gonna be, I'm gonna be able to fade back and forth between uh, fishing so say example uh, he challenges me this next time and you guys know the categories again I'll remind you if you haven't seen the, the series or haven't watched the videos um, one of the categories is first fish so we pick a we pick a, a two hour window, and we say, okay, we're, we're we're picking. This is when we're gonna fish, and this is the target species that we're going for. And then whoever catches the first fish of that species wins that category. So you get first fish is the category, uh, most weight of a fish out of a five fish bag limit, and the biggest individual fish. Uh, by weight, um, target fish, non-target fish don't count. So, for instance, say Greg Tour challenges me to a certain species, and we watch his him fish for a while, but we're on the same timeline. Okay, we record, we talk to each other, and we record the audio track uh, for the videos. But you, but you follow what I'm saying is we can have a single track running through through the video, and then say he he records and he catches his first fish at 15 minutes into his two-hour time slot. But then later, I'm fishing for the same fish in the same location, and I catch my first fish at seven minutes. Well. We can blend. We can go right over to show me catching my fish before he caught his. You see what I'm saying? Split screen. I don't know. Different things, man. Different things. I'm looking forward to it. I don't know why I'm telling you all this. Probably because it's five o'clock in the morning. I've been up since. I don't know when. Seems like I haven't slept very much since the new year. But, um, so I'm kind of loopy right now. Very tired. Uh, but I wanted to get this done. I'm one of those people that I get something stuck in my mind, it's stuck in my head, and I have to see it through. You know? I don't know where that comes from. Kind of like, hey, let's play this game for a full year. 2000, Farm Sim 2013. You know, that got stuck in my head, and we just had to do it. So I'm kind of stubborn that way. But it will work for you guys. Hopefully this will work. This video <laughs> will get posted and uh, edited and posted. And uh, I'm not going to try to use the new software for this, just because I'm so f familiar with uh, Movie Maker. That I can whip this together, put my intro, my outro, and my title. By the way, I got a new intro, new outro. If you haven't seen it already, well, you've seen it in this video. Uh, at least the intro, the outro. <laughs> You'll see at the end of the video. Do not stop right now. Finish the video. I know some of you were thinking, oh, yeah, let's go check out his outro. No, no, no. Stick with me. Finish watching the video. Then you'll see the outro, if you haven't already, because it was in my video yesterday for my three-year anniversary video.
but you know you got to get something you got to get something new every year and uh, so there you go but I will say this I'll give you guys a business idea set up a company that does video intros but couple it with intros and outros okay because what you'll see in my clip is I purchased the intro put in my information the gray gamer just derping along and my YouTube channel Ural. that's for the intro for the outro I switched it up a little bit but the outro is really just a duplication of the intro in other words I purchased the intro and then I went back I put in the information I wanted on the intro I went back and repurchased the okay what is going on the audio just quit on my hello really the audio just quit on me again there it goes wow I don't know what's going on anyway uh, so I just I ordered two two intros and made one my intro and one my outro there you go so if you're gonna go into business put them together charge double I mean, charge more than a little bit more than double. I don't care if I can get them and make them at once, and they pair up like you know, like bookends or whatever. Then that works, you know. Okay, I'm gonna quit talking. Tab over. Let's get ready to go pick up the rest of this from the harvester. Fill this up. We're gonna take this directly to the seed shop sell it because we want to keep the uh, crop going or the catch going because I don't want to get caught with my funds down again when the uh, when the uh, banknote comes due again okay, I'm going to run up next to him here and just run down to the end of the doohickey. End of the row here. He's not going to make it, I don't think. I mean, he, he won't fill up before he gets to the end of the row. Am I too far over? I hope not. Wow, really? Way over. so you can catch me. There he goes. Oh, 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 stop. Dude, come on. Seriously? I'm not going to let you go past me. Okay, maybe. <laughs> Alright, we're dancing here. Let's, let's knock that nonsense off. I'll just run down beside him until I get filled up. There's those trees I was talking about. Got to get those taken care of. But I want to get this done. I want to get this harvester, I mean this tipper full so that we can uh, sell it there we go full up good enough let's do it he's at 24 percent so we gotta get there and get back before he finishes filling up again yeah that's the plan anyway 
but I'm just going to probably uh, take this over to the sell it off and then we'll close off the episode there so that I have time to edit it get it posted up and hopefully it'll render out in a decent time I like rendering most of my videos at night or early morning because if you try to put up a render video during the day on YouTube at least in my neck of the woods it takes a while and I have a pretty good I have a pretty good internet I'm, I'm running uh, 150 uh, megabytes uh, I know that doesn't compare to you guys in Europe on fiber optics and all that but hey around here it's pretty good <laughs> you pay for it but it's pretty good so, yeah. See if we can get across the bridge without hitting the bank. I almost drove off the bridge in one of the episodes that I tried to record. Come around, the, coming back from the bank, and I went off that edge right there. But I was able to pull it back right from the brink. Uh oh, first is up to 40%. Must go faster. But, um, 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 I don't know. See? <laughs> Stuff that pops into my head, man. That was supposed to be the uh, Pink Panther thing. If you guys didn't uh, didn't recognize it, if you didn't recognize it, don't beat yourself up. It wasn't a very good rendition on my part. All right, let's sell it. What are we gonna make? I'm trying to get to where I can put a little dark background behind the money there, cause. It'll show right there. There you go. Six thousand two hundred and fifty-five dollars. All right, everybody. I'm gonna let you go right here, and we're gonna get back and and unload that harvester, finish up the crops. But I'm gonna let you guys go right now. Thank you for stopping by and checking me out. Thank you for putting up with my ranting and raving and my tiredness and everything else. But uh, I do appreciate all the support and help uh, throughout the years. And look, look forward to doing some cool things, uh, not only uh, editing-wise, but also gameplay-wise in the, in the year ahead, 2016. Take care, everybody, and we'll see you next time.